And welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. We're going to play a little uh, Williams Pinball Collection on the Wii, but not specifically to show the Wii version. really like Pinbot. It's one of my favorites, although I do find uh, the way Farsight did this both here and on the Pinball Arcade, the, the ball just drains down way too easily. However, we're not really talking about the pinball table nor this version of Pinball Arcade slash Williams Collection. What we're doing is talking about how one of the best features on the Wii is the fact that you've got separate controllers, the, the nunchuck and the Wii remote, and it makes you feel like you're actually sitting in front of a pinball machine. I can't quite do it the, the right justice here while I'm talking, or because the camera's down so low, but, ooh, ooh, ooh nice, nice reverse there. Um, but what I really like is the fact that I can sit here and I feel, because my hands are on either side, I feel like I'm playing on a pinball machine. Ooh, thank goodness that little peg is there. Um, and for the longest time, this was actually what I liked most about playing the Williams Collection on the Wii. Can I get it? Yes. Excellent. Um, because in addition to just that feeling of having your hands on either side, I, you can kind of see I'm, I'm jiggling here and I can almost tilt the machine if I want to. That's a really nice feature. Um, it's a bit weird that the uh, plunger is on this hand when on the real machine you could see the plunger was on the right. But that's just something that you have to sort of wrap your head around when you're playing this on the Wii. Um, so I was always very much, uh, I, I liked how the Wii version did this. And then Pinball Arcade came out, not for the Wii unfortunately, but it did come out for the PlayStation 3, which I got. And I'm going to switch to that now and show how I wasn't really liking it that much due to the control limitations. So here we are in Pinball Arcade playing Pinbot again, and I'll just fire it up here. At least now the plunger is on this thumbstick, which is handy. And, of course, love Pinball Arcade on PS3. Really, really like it. The increase in the graphics is nice. The physics is even better. Everything about this is so much better. Except, it's feeling weird playing it with the DualShock. Like, my hands are kind of cramped together. Not in a way that's bad, but... I don't know, just, it's not, um... It doesn't have that same intuitive feeling that the, place, uh, that the Wii had, you know, where I had controls on either side, feeling like I'm in front of a pinball machine. Um, and then this, you have to kind of shake this way to, in order to um, maybe not tilt the table, but at least get the ball to do stuff you want it to do. That's fine. I don't mind that. But <clears throat> I don't know. I just, I was finding for a while, my hands just don't feel right using the controller this way. So this has been my solution. This is the Dual SFX Evolution from a company called Splitfish. Don't know if they're still around, but I got this um, fairly new at the time when Pinball Arcade came out for PS3. Basically, this is a, a DualShock that's been cut in half. It's got uh, D-pad, thumbsticks, all the buttons, uh, triggers on the front, and it allows me to play Pinball Arcade like the Wii controller, and I'll show you what some of the advantages and disadvantages are. First of all, let's start a game. And you can see here, I've got that same level of precision that I had before. So, thumbstick is still working fine. And yeah, now I'm, I'm feeling a bit more like I was with the Wii Remote. I can play, I can set these off to the sides, I can do my thing. Um, I, still have, I still have that for, uh, you know, that thumbstick there for doing the nudge. Sometimes the tilt, if I'm not careful, like there, that was a good move. Um, and this is actually, I had hoped that this controller would have made me feel more like I was playing with the Wii. And it kind of does. Uh, it doesn't do the motion control shake. It, it does have motion in it, but I think Pinball Arcade for PS3, they just never really had that as a feature. You can play anything for PS3 that does use motion, 
this thing does have it. I think it's all in this one here. This one's larger for that reason. Uh, and it's, um, it's a pretty cool control solution, but I don't, I didn't end up really using it all that much. Um, first of all, main issue is it doesn't have just two control, or two triggers on the front. You can see there's actually three. Um, the first, these are the equivalent, let me just set one down. So that's the equivalent of L2, that's the equivalent of L1, and that is the equivalent of pushing your controller in, uh, I think, F. Well, let's double check. I happen to have the instructions for it right here. Yeah, the uh, Splitfish SFX Evolution. Um, oh man, yeah, so F, L, F, which is the equivalent of, where does it say? It doesn't say. Well, regardless, it, it's, it's not that great. And the other thing is, whereas on the DualShock, you've got um, some analog movement with that um, front bumper there with this thing it's completely digital like it's it's either on or off there's no there's no real uh, finesse in there um, so I didn't really end up using it all that much but I thought it was kind of a quirky weird bit of hardware that uh, I thought I would show off and and it, it's definitely the closest you're gonna get to a pinball like or a Wii pinball like experience ah, see there's that drain I talked about uh, yeah, like I can at least sit these down beside me on the lap like I did with the Wii controller back in the day and I can enjoy pinball arcade as much as possible. It's just that, I don't know, this this control scheme didn't really work. Yeah, look at my lousy score there. Um, also, it's kind of weird having the buttons in this weird arrangement here. You got your start and select. Uh, you've got a couple of other options for like macros and stuff. There's some uh, thumb wheels here. Um, yeah, I might as well show you what this thing is like playing other games here. Here we are playing Super Stardust HD, so that's a good indication of what the thumbsticks are like there. Not bad. We want to get the green things, I seem to remember. There we go. Yeah, so that all works just fine. It feels a little um, loosey-goosey compared to the thumbsticks on the actual DualShock controller. I don't know, it's like there's, yeah, see? There's like a little too much sway or, or room in there. I'm, I don't know that I'd really recommend it for any dual, sh dual stick shoot 'em up type of a game. But I wanted to show it is possible, like it, it does completely work. And let's finish off with a fighting game, because that's going to be terrible with this controller. Uh, let's do Darkstalker's Resurrection. And of course, as you know, Felicia is my girl. Let's see, to get her original colors I think is square? Yes. Uh, we'll go normal. This is not going to go well. Okay. Yeah, I can do some of them. Do some of the moves. See, the problem is having the con this range of buttons here. That's really not going to work. Well, this it's all right. Okay, now she's doing her stuff. I think. But yeah, no. This is. I mean, I barely ever play. Hey, I got him. I do play Felicia with the uh, DualShock uh, because, as I mentioned when I talked about Felicia, the the control scheme, because you're playing a cat-like character who's like getting in with her claws, the control scheme with the DualShock actually works quite well for her. I'm normally a fight stick player, but uh, this is not giving me that same range of control, even though I seem to be doing all right here. Come on, come on, Felicia, get him. Ugh. Anyway. But yeah, this is the Splitfish SPFX Evolution controller, which is kind of different, kind of weird. Um, it's an interesting variation for how to do game control schemes. Um, I, wonder if, I wonder if my good old buddy at uh, Wired Up Retro knows about this controller. It seems like it's his set of a jam. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, just thought I would show that off and... Uh, I don't know that I would ever recommend it. Certainly not for fighting games. It's pretty decent for the pinball arcade, but honestly, I think I'll just stick with uh, the PlayStation 4 version of that anyhow. Yeah, well done, Felicia. All right, well, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.